Hey everybody. Welcome to Let's Talk About Sex with Sandy. Tonight we're starting a little bit early, a little unexpected, <laughs> but um, we're going to be having some fun tonight. So um, what are we talking about? We are going to be talking about orgasms versus squirting. And this is for women. So I'm a little ahead of myself. If my husband's so weird. If, um, if you don't know me, my name is Sandy O'Shea. I am a sex and hormone specialist and I help men and women balance their hormones and get their, uh, improve their sex life. And I do this through a holistic approach using, um, nutrition, supplementation, sex toys, which are the most fun part of it and essential oils. So tonight, like I said, we're talking about orgasms and squirting. So this came about after a conversation that I had with my husband on uh, Sunday night, I think it was. And I don't even know how we got started talking about this. But I'm like, so orgasms are, are so varied for women. And you know, you can have different types of orgasms at different, you know, depending on how you're feeling and how your everything is going on. And different women have orgasms differently. Guys, it's pretty straight up. So, you know, we're talking female orgasms here. And of course, squirting has become, it's almost become the latest thing to do. And you know, I was saying to, to Barry that it almost seems like it's a, an ego thing for guys. And please, if I am incorrect, guys especially, um, if this is not the case, I welcome your comments, whether by PM or if you're brave enough actually on the, um, the page here. So, you know, orgasms, at least... I can only talk about my experience. So yeah, it might be a little TMI, but oh well. Um, I'm not exactly bashful about things. So sometimes orgasms can be super intense and they're just mind blowing. And it depends, like different women, women will experience them differently because some women only orgasm clitorally, some women orgasm internally, um, through intercourse. Um, and then there's all these other ways of, um, orgasming as well. So the big one is the G spot. And that's the one that causes all this watery mess, the sheets, got to change the bedding kind of reaction. And sometimes that happens clitorally. And sometimes it happens by stimulating the G spot. So I don't know about other women. All I can do is tell you that from my perspective, um, it's, I would rather have an orgasm than squirt because it doesn't elicit the same kind of reaction and it doesn't elicit the same kind of response. So there's a lot of health benefits to orgasming. It helps improve your immune system. It helps to um, uh, bond you with your, your uh, partner. Um, it helps with vaginal health. It helps with um, pelvic floor health. And there's, there's a few other things. And of course, my, my brain isn't you know, completely with us tonight because I ended up starting this quite by accident. So <laughs> this, here we are, um, ad living as usual. Um, so it's it's just a matter of it's almost become a badge of honor with guys. It's like, oh, she squirts, hmm, and it becomes a challenge for them rather than it becoming something really. Um, important for the woman. It's more focused. At least this is how I see it. And this is, you know, what partly what the conversation with my husband was about is it's become, it's more focused. It's more about the guy and what he can accomplish 
as opposed to um, making the woman feel really good. Because personally, I find that with squirting, I don't get that same kind of response as I do with an actual intense orgasm. And so do I recommend one over the other? Not really. It's just, they're different. And, you know, if a woman, if a woman really enjoys it and she gets a lot out of it, awesome. Fantastic. I'm not saying I don't like that. Don't like it. It's just sometimes it's like when that's all there, the guy is um, focused on doing then. And I mean, if a woman doesn't, um, for some reason that night, maybe she's stressed, maybe her mind is elsewhere, maybe, you know, um, she's not feeling as good as possible. Maybe, maybe the guy hasn't done his job and turned her on sufficiently. Because, guys, this is really important for you to understand. Most women need a bit of work, and especially as we get older. So the younger girls, you know, they're they're already a little juicier they're already a little you know um a little bit more um ready to go whereas you know you get past and especially when women are postmenopausal let me tell you sometimes it takes a bit to get really lubricated and to re get really turned on so um vitamin e by the way uh, taken orally is a really good supplement to take um, between two to 800, depending on how old you are, depending on your health. Um, it's helped me a lot. Um, and regular sex, you know, it's like ladies, if you want to keep your vagina healthy and um, strong, you got to have sex. Whether it's with your partner or with a toy, it really doesn't matter. But it's that, um, just the whole process of having intercourse, of um, having an orgasm. Some women can't. Some women don't have the foggiest freaking clue what it's like to have an orgasm. It's unfortunate because it's pretty cool. Um, but either they've had some sort of sexual trauma They've never been with anyone who has elicited that kind of response with them. There's all kinds of reasons why do women don't orgasm. And those who do, there's a lot of women who don't squirt. So, you know, here's the thing. If you are playing with other people, because let's face it, there's a huge swinging community out and about. Um, guys and girls never compare your partner, I know this is going a little bit off topic here, but eh, we're going to roll with it, right? Um, never, ever compare your spouse to whoever you're playing with and never tell your spouse that you need to take, that you should be taking lessons. That is the biggest sign of disrespect, in my opinion. And it's just something that should never be done. It's like, it's, I, I'd smack the guy if he ever did it. Like if, if we were in that lifestyle and Barry ever did that to me, I would smack him in the moment because there is no way in God's green earth that that is appropriate for anybody to do. This was something that um, a client of mine had uh, told me about. And I sat there and I looked at her and I kind of went, you have got to be freaking kidding me. And she's like, no, this guy was going on about how gorgeous she was, what great breasts she had, how great she was with oral and that she, you know, and he said to his wife, you should take lessons from her. And I'm like, guys are like that rude. And, she, and apparently she was super sweet about the whole thing and she didn't react. Now what went on after my client left, hard to say. But the fact of the matter is, you need to be respectful of each other. Some women squirt and some women don't. So you should never ever use that as a benchmark. The whole thing about sex 
is to have fun and enjoy yourself. And whether you do it by yourself, with a partner, or with a group, really doesn't matter. It's whatever floats your boat and whatever your relationship is with your partner. Whatever works for you is what you should be doing. So, oops. Um, never ever compare. And ladies, I don't think you girls would do this, but never ever compare the size of a guy's equipment to another guy. That's just rude. Um, so getting back on topic and then I'm going to say goodbye because we're at almost 11 minutes here. So, um, orgasms versus squirting. Personally, I think a combination of the two is a great thing. If it becomes a, way to stroke a man's ego, then no. I'm like, no, this has to be about the woman and about giving her pleasure. So, and I'm pretty sure that most guys do it for that reason, but I think there's still a lot of guys who are um, doing this to stroke their own egos. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're brave enough to put your comments in, in the, uh, um, the feed here. Awesome. If you would rather not, then by all means, please PM me. I truly am interested in your opinion. Um, and I'd love to hear what it is that you'd like to, you know, I've got a, a whole bunch of topics to talk about and I am starting to bring in some guests. Um, uh, so you don't have to sit here and listen to me all the time. Um, and, but I would love to hear what it is that you are interested in in the within the realm of you know kind of sex and hormones and health um because it does go beyond just you know kind of the the, the sexual part of it um it's also about being your healthiest most vibrant sexiest self so a couple of things that are coming up um just to let you know i do have a um an event coming up on tuesday september 24th it is um going to be at Jolie Cafe here in Ajax. And I'll um, I probably won't end up doing it until next week because, well, I'll, I'll add in to the comments. It'll probably be tomorrow or Thursday once I get the, um, the event completely put up on um, Eventbrite. I'll add a, connect, um, a link to it. I'll put in the link to my website in case you want to hear more. And um, if there's anything that you need help with in the realm of um, kind of sex hormones, nutrition, and health, I do offer a 30 minute complimentary chat with Sandy. Um, so please PM me if you're interested. Mwah! Have a great night and um, enjoy your orgasms, ladies. You too, guys. <laughs>